I found this Simpson meter, the 260, in a flea market in the Columbia, South Carolina area. And before I decided to buy it, I looked it over, of course, but I also rotated the meter and was paying attention to how the needle moved and it didn't stick and it moved smoothly so I went ahead and bought it. As you can see it's a little dirty but the uh, I figured I could get the tape off here. There is no you know big chunks missing or anything like that. I opened up the battery compartment and uh, was pleased to see that it was very clean. I put new batteries in it. Here I have opened up the meter and this is my first look at the meter and you can see that it's very clean which I was very happy to see. And until I need to, there are some uh, controls that I definitely do not want to touch, and that's these. These are for calibration. There's a couple more there, but these would be the easiest to move. So I was very careful not to change these in any way. The only corrosion that I found was right here on the corner and that was not from the inside out but somehow something got on the outside and corroded it a little bit right there and it cleaned up completely. It was so nice seeing how clean it was on the inside. I did some testing of the meter and that worked fine so I decided well I'll start cleaning it up and here I had put some Santa wax on it and let it set for a while and it loosened up the tape on the top of this meter very nicely. When I got it all back together I did find that there was a problem. Here I've already fixed the problem, but what was going on is when I zeroed the needle and then rotated the selector to one side or the other, the needle would not return to zero. Well, here it does when I have it set up and then, you know, rotate the switch from one side to the other it returns to where it should. Well this is what I did to fix the problem. I got out a cotton swab and put only one or two drops of WD-40 on it and very carefully touched the switches and cleaned the contacts with this small amount of WD-40. I also decided to uh, put a little bit of WD-40 on the uh, zero variable resistor. There's, uh, you can't see it from this shot, but the material that holds the carbon run uh, is exposed there and I'm just putting a little WD-40 on it and that will soak through and do the job. Uh, basically what happens is all this material shrinks over the years and the WD-40 puts some of the petroleum back that has evaporated and I find that it works very well. Here I'm setting the meter up to measure ohms and I've got it on the 100 scale 
and I found a 100 ohm resistor. And the meter is still very accurate, that's why I didn't want to move any of the calibration at all. Here I've got some stills of that reading and this first uh, picture you can see the needle in the mirror so that's not quite right yet and this other shot it's on the other side well the idea that uh, mirror is when you cannot see that needle then you are right over the needle for an accurate reading and from here you can see that it says it's slightly less than a hundred ohms so I put it on my digital meter and sure enough it reads just a little less than a hundred ohms. So I have found myself a nice Simpson 260 meter. I cleaned up nicely and I'm definitely going to be using it. Thanks for watching.